So, you join me for a few laps of Bathurst as a somewhat track guide. Of course, I'm no pro. I'm definitely not good at this track, but I thought it'd be interesting um, to make something a little bit different with a track guide. So, we're just going to pull out of the pits here now. We're in the uh, M4 GT3 uh, car here in iRacing. Um, so, yeah, just pull out of the pits, get the tyres warmed up before we uh, start attacking the circuit. Of course, this track is a very difficult one to uh, get the hang of. Lots of uh, tight twisted corners. So, up the hill towards the first big braking zone on the lap. It's a slow right hander, and then you can drag it all the way to the left there uh, on exit when you're starting to push. Up to the cutting, so a smaller through here, and then second gear easy and get as close to that left hand wall as you possibly can. We'll swing in the car back to the right. Up the hill. Once the tyres warmed up, this corner should be just about flat. Um, same as this uh, left hander here. Small lift here. Try not to hit that curve. You, you will end up in that concrete wall. Again, a small lift through this left hander as well. As much the inside as possible. Uh, uh, try not to do that too often. We plummet down over skyline and then back down the mountain pass. Turn in early for that one. The road sort of blocks you, so you have to turn in earlier than you think you would need to. Again, down the hill. Easy on the brake. So easy to lock a brake there as the car goes light. And then that's over the mountain pass, and then back down the hill. Up through the gears, sit in the slipstream. Hope for the best. Maybe save some fuel for up here. Uh, check over everything as you would do in the uh, 12 hour. Or you come through the chase, swing it back to the right, take sixth gear for braking. A bit earlier than that. Flat through this right hand up. And now down to the final corner, Murray's. Let's start our first uh, attempt at a flying lap. Or not. So. Through Murray's again and not crashing for a semi flying lap of Bathurst. So, up to the first corner, hell corner, about 70 meters. Car on the brakes down to second gear, turning early. Use the camber and then early on the powers you can get up through the gears. Fourth gear. If you're in a racing situation like will be uh, for the 12 hour, sit in the slipstream, try and uh, make your pass before, especially if you're going to be. Uh, a lot quicker over the mountain before you turn your attention to the braking. So about 70 meters, third gear, turn it in early and you can really get on the power nice and early. Drag it all the way to that left hand curb, we'll come up to the cutting. Small lift before hard on the brakes, bring it in narrow and then hard on the power, as close to that left hand wall as you can get. Same here, closest left hand wall, turn in nice and early. Just about flat through there, you can feel the back go a little light. Flat through this left hander as well for small lift, avoiding that curb, otherwise it will spit you into that wall. Fifth gear, turn it in early, small dab on the brakes if you understeer like I just did. Well, all the way to the left for hard on the brakes, down towards skyline, just easing it through, down to second. Early for this left hander here, throw cambers away from you. Through the series of left and right handers, for down to uh, the forest elbow. Watch that wall on exit. If you get on the power too early, you will understeer into it. And that's the mountain section. Uh, for all the... Um, well, fear of this track there is. The actual track's quite a simple thing. It's just the mountain section that's difficult. We'll harden the brakes down to about 100 metres. Second gear. Oh, a bit of understeer on entry. Kind of bit too much speed through there. And now down to Murray's corner once again. Nice and early on the brakes, down to second. Don't hit that curb. And there's a lap of Bathurst. T what? Let's go for another one. Let's see if we can try and uh, get a better time out of that. 2.06, that's not a terrible time at all. So again, through Hell Corner. Uh, probably in the race, you're going to be looking for um, anywhere around the 2.05 mark. Uh, this is just on the baseline setup on a full tank of fuel right now. 
Uh, although this being the sunrise session, uh, the track temp's quite low. Oh, a little bit of a lock-up I heard there. Really get on the power nice and early out of there. We're trying to avoid the curb as it will unsettle the cart. So back through the cutting once again. That's what happens if you don't lift. Oh, turned it a bit too early there. Almost clipped that wall on the inside. Did get contact, but I don't think there was any damage. Once again, fourth gear early, flat through the left hander. Small lift there. Oh, I turned in a bit early, I have to turn back out again. Fifth gear turning early. That's a lot better through there. Bring to the left, you get straight as a line, uh, straight as line breaking, sorry, as you can through skyline down to second. And then once again, early there. That was a bit too late on the turn in. That was a bit of a better exit out of um, the Forest Elbow as well. Back down the back straight again. Fifth gear. 260k should probably be hitting by the end of the straight. Of course, up the hill, so you lose a bit of momentum. As soon as you get over the hill, sixth gear. Use that torque in this BMW. On the brakes again, about just before the 100. Third gear. That's better through there. In a bit of time back. You know what? One more lap. Why not? This time I just shut up. I concentrate, I think. Ooh, a little bit of oversteer there. Traction control. You sort of saved me a bit there. Still a 207. Not terrible. Great. A bit earlier on the power there as well. Which is nice. Carried a bit more speed. So you can see the uh, relative on the dashboard. Just Below that green ABS um, signal setting, we're uh, nearly a tenth up. Again, just to that bit of concrete there on the left. Oh, back end sort of a bit of a stick there. A cheeky little wheel, wheel spin there. That's a bit better. Don't scrub the tyres as much. Turning earlier. Turning too early though, you will hit that wall. And that was nice. Carried a bit more speed there. Front end just pushed a bit there. Again, straight line braking. As you're braking, obviously the car's going to be wanting to spit you out. It's a bit annoying, but that's the uh, fun bit of Bathurst. Bit more speed through uh, Forest Elbow that lap as well. Tenth up. But as I was saying, it's, it's a racetrack of two halves. This you've got the conventional sort of racetrack with long straights, heavy braking zones. Um, this high-speed right-hander here, which is easy flat to be fair. And then you've got a just a ridiculously difficult mountain section. A lot better through that section of corners there. And that was nice through Mario's as well for a pretty decent lap. What's that going to be? A 206.2. Do we try and go for a 205? That was nice. Try and carry that speed for the rest of this lap. It's alright doing that, it's a little bit quicker, but it will eat away at your back tyres. Carried a bit more speed through there. And through there, nice. Oh, that was good through the mountain section. and then go and lose all that time I've just gained. I 
There you go, 205.6, that's not a terrible lap at all. Uh, of course this is on race fuel, so maybe even 204 is possible. I hope you enjoyed that uh, little brief look at um, Bathurst there. It was real fun to drive this car around here. Um, I believe the Audi and the Lamborghini are a bit quicker around here, but more likely to kill you. This BMW feels nice and stable, uh, if a bit understeery and a bit slow, but uh, I'm now going to probably put in hours and hours of practice uh, getting ready for the 12 hour, which is going to be on the last weekend of February. I'll be streaming that over on Twitch. Uh, if you want to go check that out on Twitch, uh, it'll be in the description below. But yeah, I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did, really appreciate that like button. Subscribe if you want to as well. And yeah, hope you have a really awesome rest of your day and see you all next time. Hmm. Hmm.